Hey guys, Jesse here coming at you from a backyard in Ordinga of South Australia. Where are we going? I'm going up to Sheepyard Flats, which is a nice, easy, accessible place just up past Mansfield. Good morning at home. What a beautiful uh, day in the morning. Oh, how great is this? Victor Harbour at the Bluff. Very popular squid spot, very popular deep water fishing spot as well due to the good drop offs on the end of that rock wall. But that's out of the question today because we are after squid. We're just going to be being at the end of this jetty here on this little platform. We're going to put a couple of floats out and then we're going to jig a little bit as well just to see what turns up. We're hoping for some squid around the 800 to 1 kilo mark. They do get them bigger here. But anything like that, I'd be very happy with. Got our Tommy Ruff. Put our skip spikes straight through him. Right there. Just going right down. Comes out the back. Just like that. Put our rig. Just bang him straight on the snap. I like to use the snap so you can just pick off and change your baits whenever you need to if the pickers of little toe fish and bait fish get to it. You can change it nice and quick. Now the actual ring, somewhat of a paternoster. They've got a reefy, rocky, weedy bottom. I don't want to be losing jigs because they're not cheap. So a sinker on the bottom, a dropper to a bait, a float on the top, and we'll swim on the top and stop the float. That's going to sit in about a metre, two metres of water. It's perfect for this sort of area. Far, but it doesn't need to be. Wait for that photo to go I've ditched the boys and I've got away to the beautiful Halka River. That's right, it's about an hour out of Mansfield, easily accessible to a normal car. Uh, I've come away with the girls and we're going to do some fishing in this beautiful river. So here I am minding my own business. The rods are in the water, thought I'd read a book. Now I find myself standing on my chair. Because of this little guy. Good morning at home. What a beautiful day on the morning. Oh, how great is this? So what we're actually doing this morning, uh, we've got Gavin. Gavin's birthday. How, how old are you, mate? Uh, 24. 25. Happy birthday, wow. So Gavin's decided to come out on the plover, and uh, he's got a bit of a surprise because we're out filming. Yeah, it's a bit different. I, yeah. wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. The missus set me up, so. So she <laughs> stitched yeah, you up. Good. Look at that. Jess is our leading deckhand today, and Clay. Uh, so we've got Jess and Clay as deckhands. My name's Stuart. I'm the skipper, but. Um, once we get to anchor, all of us are here to help you with whatever you may need. We don't fish, we're here to help you guys catch fish. 
All right, only a little bit self-conscious because there's a TV camera on me. <laughs> <laughs> I do this all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, anything you may need. We, we'll be backing you up. You guys get to do everything. You get the whole experience. You bait up, you, you hook your own fish, you drag them in. We'll help you though. If you do get a big fish, please make sure you make plenty of noise so that we can get to you with a net and back you up. We don't want you to try and lift a big fish out of the water on the fishing line. You may well bust off, okay? So that's pretty important. And my voice is just about gone. Anyone question? Anyone got any questions? Yeah. Uh, we go yeah. fishing. What? We go fishing. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> what do you reckon? Hey guys. Straight from the bluff, South Australia, Victor Harbour. All the locals know this spot very well. It's a very popular switch spot. The Victorians watching, this is like the Flinders Pier equivalent from Victor Harbour. Australia. There you go. I'll chuck him out and try and get his buddy because the other one was a little bit bigger. I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Mick's shown you this before, but just because some people might not have seen it, I'll show you again. There is a way to kill a squid quickly and humanely without a knife or a squid spike. All you do, you push back their head, where their neck is here, you give them a bit of a karate chop. His back's dead. Oh, you go. Head's dead. What? One dead squid in about five seconds, no knife, no jig. Done. Wow, that's cool. It's a pretty handy trick. That's crazy, his colour just changed instantly. Oh, it's a squid. There we go, we got another one. Oh, right. <laughs> this rig might produce. Looks like a decent sign. Right? Produce. Here's another, another decent okay. squid. If you bring your squid in, whether it's on a prong or a jig, and he, uh, he drops the bait, what you want to do is you want to open your bail arm, you want to let the jig sink back down to the bottom, and the squid will chase it down and hit it just before it hits the bottom 90% of the time. So if he does spit it out, drop your jig back down there and give him another crack at it. He's another nice sized squid too. He's fairly big. His tentacles right, are the length of the right, tummy. Right. I can tell from here. He might be able to catch him close for him. <laughs> Squid's still on here, you're right. Grab net. 
Now a squid net. Oh, he spat it. No. Let it sink. He might come back. He's coming back. He's going for it. Bang. Got him. All right. We got another shot at him. Don't worry about your food, man. Got another shot at him. Almost on it. Oh. Go, go, go. Uh, yay! <laughs> Number two. He's a lot better, actually. Hey, he's I haven't got dead one dead. yet. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for the help. <laughs> and he's about 900 grams of southern calamari. At least. It's a beautiful eating size calamari. And this is what so many fishermen come to the bluff for. These guys. Gonna wink in a minute. There he goes. He's got no ink left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he will. He likes aiming for the camera, they often do. It's just nailed a fantastic squid. And the jig too. He was good. He's very nice. He's probably a good 1.2, 1.3 kilos worth. Looks like uh, you might be having a squid ring for dinner. Could be. I'm sure he hates me right now for keeping him out of the fishing for so long, so I'll let you get back into it. Cheers. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Good number three for me. This one's going to be tricky to land. Two minutes. And I put a lot of ink on my face. <laughs> 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 like that. Top that is this. I think. We've just got so just helped a, another guy land his. Hey, just following right behind this one. So that's two. In a couple of minutes. So that's been head and just five squid here today so far. Yes. We are doing really, really well. And that's another good table sized squid. Not a giant. With some good sized rings to it. Well, that concludes an awesome session here at the Bluff in Victor Harbour with a few nice squid and a big Port Jackson to boot. It's a good session. We've been down here for about three or four hours now. The run out definitely produced a squid. So if you're coming down here, get on the run out. Tommy's at the go. Well, for me anyway, but we did get a couple of the jigs. Yeah, just try your luck. See how you go. It just went off. I don't know which one it was because I just turned my light off. This one's still got its bait, so I'll put it back in. Putting worms on a hook is not the most pleasant experience. Now oh, there's a bug in the mouth. <coughs> so if it's not for you, there's plenty of <clears throat> plenty of soft plastics that are very similar. Just require a bit of extra work. <laughs> Can you see that? That's a work of art. Hmm. Now we wait.
The bells are great, but doesn't make for great audio, I suppose. Okay, I'm just down the hill from camp. Just over the bank from camp, really. Threw the line in with worm again. And it looks like a little river blackfish we've got on the end here. You can see him there. Come in. Not sure if there's any spikes I need to worry about here. If we can get another shot of him. Better get him off because he's <laughs> not looking that healthy. Nice little guy. I'll show you him just briefly. Look at that guy and we'll get him back in the water. Quick smart. <laughs> and that's how you, how you don't do it. So this, um, this particular boat is really important to us. This is bay fishing trips. Now when the whole Oz fishing was starting out, Stuart and Sandra, who are great friends of the show, great personal friends of us, um, they offered the boat up for a fundraiser, which we bought most of all. Started buying our camera gear with, and all the stuff that we actually uh, work with on the show is a lot of stuff behind the scenes and the equipment. So this is a really important charge to us, isn't it? It is, mate. It, it really is. It's, uh, it's pretty much where we began, where we were born. It's been fun ever since. And here we are, back on the plumber. It's a good spot. It is, mate. And I've uh, noticed they've got a nice, good-looking photo of a really good-looking couple of blokes up here and one lovely young lady. <laughs> Which is Jess. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Woo good job. Steph, she's actually decided to join us. 
and uh, she's actually shrunk by about four and a half foot. There you go, Steph. Oh, very well. It's a nice jacket you've got going there. Thank you. Bit big, lost a bit of weight. <laughs> it shrunk a bit, I believe. Yep. yep. <laughs> and there's our uh, cameraman, George Clooney. How you going, George? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> you can have the camera back there, mate. You look at my pretty face. just knocked Nick off the board. Felt like a snapper, it was... Another big one up in the bay Yeah. That's a beautiful play, mate. Yeah. I we might chuck that guy on the board and see who's... Uh... I think that's got to be 45, hasn't it? I mean, I might have... Yeah. Might have knocked... Nicky off the table there. Port Wollonga. One of the very nice serene beaches to fish in down in this coastline. I'm actually here with my grandfather. He told me this is quite a good spot. Any, any reason why you like fishing this area? Oh, it's nice and calm. Uh, good fish, good variety of fish. You can usually see the salmon skulls on top of the cliffs and you can just know where you fish and usually get a black spot and you can just see them coming along. You catch all sorts here. Okay, I'm here at Odinga Beach. I got my rods, I got my bucket. I'm gonna be heading down there in a few minutes to try and find some yellowfin whiting if I'm lucky enough. If not, surely something will come around. Little Australian salmon or salmon trout as they call them, mullet, who knows. I gotta try for everything. I got my bigger rod and my smaller rod for the whiting. It's low tide in about two hours, which is the best time to be targeting the yellowfin in the shallows. As the tide comes up and we get to high tide, I'll be getting out the bigger rod, putting out a pattern oster rig to see what else I can find on the beach. Anyway, through the magic of editing, I'll be down on that beach in about 10 seconds. I've been trying to catch all day. Is he a little bronzy or a schooly? I can't tell. No, you say he's a schooly. He's got that pretty. He Maybe a bronzy, but he's still a schooly. I think he is a bronzy, he's got that tail. Well, viewers of Ozfish TV, for once I'm having trouble identifying a shark that is trying to bite me. He's either a schooly or a bronzy. I'm pretty sure he's a bronzy though. He's a little guy. That's awesome. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Got Mark on the camera for me. He's just nailed a little fell into salmon. Down here at Odinga Beach. That's what we're catching. Nothing special, but it's fish is a fish. We've had an absolute ball out on the plover with the crew. Um, it's always a great charter to go on, isn't it? Oh, mate, it's fantastic. And this uh, old Chucky here. <laughs> Poor old Jess struggled a little bit, but that's okay. We've been okay. the end of that for a while. Yeah. No, that's okay. Um, 
I highly recommend everyone get out on this boat. Great for bigger groups. If you have a group of, what are you, what's your biggest, Stu? We stop it at 25. We're allowed a lot more than that, but 25 is fine. There's plenty of room for everyone. There is a lot of room, and it got quite hairy out there. It was very stable in the water, so. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we highly recommend it a lot, and uh, thank you, you guys, for your fantastic hospitality. And uh, I reckon we uh, call it a day at that. Yeah, it's time to head home. See you later. See you guys. It just went off. I don't know which one it was because I just turned my light off. This one's still got its bait so I'll put it back in. Putting worms on a hook is not the most pleasant experience. Now oh, there's a bug in the mouth. <coughs> so if it's not for you, there's plenty of <clears throat> plenty of soft plastics that are very similar. Just require a bit of extra work. <laughs> Can you see that? That's a work of art. Hmm. Now we wait. The bells are great, but doesn't make for great audio, I suppose. Okay, I'm just down the hill from camp. Just over the bank from camp, really. Through the line in with Worm again. And it looks like a little river blackfish we've got on the end here. You can see him there. Come in. Not sure if there's any spikes I need to worry about here. We can get another shot of him. Better get him off because he's <laughs> not looking that healthy. Nice little guy. I'll show you him just briefly. Look at that guy and we'll get him back in the water. Quick smart. <laughs> and that's how you, how you don't do it. So this, um, this particular boat is really important to us because there's bay fishing trips. Now when the whole Ausfish thing was starting out, Stuart and Sandra, who are great friends of the show, great personal friends of us, um, they offered the boat up for a fundraiser, which we bought most of it, or started buying our camera gear with, and all the stuff that we actually uh, work with on the show is a lot of stuff behind the scenes and the equipment. So it's a really important charge to us, isn't it? It is, mate. It, it really is. It's, uh, it's pretty much where we began, where we were born. It's been fun ever since. And here we are, back on the plumber. It's a good spot. It is, mate. And I uh, noticed they've got a nice, good-looking photo of a really good-looking couple of blokes up here and one lovely young lady. <laughs> Which is Jess. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Woo good job. Ha <laughs> ha.
Steph, she's actually decided to join us, and uh, she's actually shrunk by about four and a half foot. There you go, Steph. Oh, very well. It's a nice jacket you've got going there. Thank you. Bit big, lost a bit of weight. <laughs> <laughs> it shrunk a bit, I believe. Yep. yep. <laughs> and there's our uh, cameraman, George Clooney. How you going, George? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> you can have the camera back there, mate. You look at my pretty face. Oh, here we go. This is on a wall. I might have a snapper here, buddy. Snapper? 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 I reckon I can get another one of those because I don't think this is plain with you. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, throw him on the measure. I may have just knocked Nick off the board. Felt like a snapper. It was. Another big one up at the plate. Yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's a beautiful plate, mate. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we might chuck that guy on the board and see who's. Uh, I think that's got to be 45, doesn't it? I mean, might have. Yeah. Might have knocked, knocked Nicky off the table there. Eh? One of the very nice serene beaches to fish in down on this coastline. I'm actually here with my grandfather. He told me this is quite a good spot. Any, any reason why you like fishing this area? Oh, it's nice and calm. Uh, good fish, good variety of fish. You can usually see the salmon skulls from the top of the cliffs and you can just know where you're fishing. You usually get a black spot and you can just see them coming along. You catch all sorts here. Okay, I'm here at Odinga Beach. I've got my rods, 
I got my bucket. I'm going to be heading down there in a few minutes to try and find some yellowfin whiting if I'm lucky enough. If not, surely something will come around. Little Australian salmon or salmon trout as they call them, mullet, who knows. I got to try for everything. I got my bigger rod and my smaller rod for the whiting. It's low tide in about two hours, which is the best time to be targeting the yellowfin in the shallows. As the tide comes up and we get to high tide, I'll be getting out the bigger rod, putting out a pattern oster rig to see what else I can find on the beach. Anyway, through the magic of editing, I'll be down on that beach in about 10 seconds. I've been trying to catch all day. Is he a little bronzy or a schoolie? I can't tell. No, you say he's a schoolie. He's got that brown. Maybe a bronzy, but he's still a schoolie. I think he is a bronzy, he's got that tail. Well, viewers of Ozfish TV, for once I'm having trouble identifying a shark that is trying to bite me. He's either a schoolie or a bronzy. I'm pretty sure he's a bronzy though. He's a little guy. That's awesome. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Got Mark on the camera for me. He's just nailed a little feel of the salmon. Down here at Ordinga Beach. That's what we're catching. Nothing special, but fish is fish. We've had an absolute ball out on the plumber with the crew. Um, it's always a great charter to go on, isn't it? Oh, mate, it's fantastic. And this, uh, I'll chuck it here. <laughs> Poor old Jess struggled a little bit. But well, that's okay. Been about for a while. Yeah. No, that's okay. Um, I highly recommend everyone get out on this boat. Great for bigger groups. If you have a group of, what do you, what's your biggest student? We stop it at 25. We're allowed a lot more than that, but 25 is fine. There's plenty of room for everyone. There is a lot of room, and it got quite hairy out there, and it was very stable in the water, so. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we highly recommend it a lot, and uh, thank you, you guys, for your fantastic hospitality. Pleasure. And uh, I reckon we uh, call it a day at that. Yeah, time to head home. See you later. See you guys. <laughs>